In this video, we're going to continue on with our massive review of selectors. And we're going to look at the attribute selector, yet another way you can target elements. And that is we use the HTML attribute. Now you will remember attributes just give us more information about our HTML element. And pretty much a lot of people use HTML attributes in their web programming today. So a lot of elements, again, come along with their necessary attributes. Now, we're going to use the language attribute in this video, but this could apply to any attribute, href attributes, source attributes, whatever attributes you want to target. We're just going to use the language attribute in this video. And there are several different types of these attribute selectors. So we're going to cover the main ones that you want to use in this video. So you can see down here in the CSS spreadsheet, I've got the first attribute we're going to talk about. And they are always identified by these square brackets. So these are always what you're going to use with your attribute selector. Now the first attribute selector is the easiest one. You're just selecting the attribute by its type. And so in this case, we put the language attribute here. Very simple. So we're saying, hey, all of the language attributes inside paragraph elements will be selected. And if we look at our HTML page here, it will be these three. And so again, you could put any attribute type here you want. So if this was an href, you would put href here. If it was for a source attribute, you would put src, whatever you wanted. So let's go ahead and save this. We'll refresh our page and there you can see the background color now is changed for orange. We selected all three of these language attributes that came along with these paragraph elements. So that's the first type and as I said, the easiest one. Now the second one is we can actually associate a value with an attribute. So let's say we wanted to target uh, this middle one right here. We wanted this value of fr. So we're saying, hey, give us the language attribute that has this exact value fr, which of course stands for French. So all we do is we put the value here and we use double quotes. And there you can see, we're saying now give us the language attribute along with any value that has the French value in it. So let's go ahead and save this. We'll refresh our page and just the middle one is selected. So again, that's with a specific value. By the way, I will put all of these examples in the description of this video. So you don't have to worry about saving these. I'll put them all out there for you, all of the examples that we used in this video. Now we can also match an attribute that begins with a specific value. Notice I use the word begin. It begins with a specific value. And what we use is the caret character. That's what we do. So we can just put that right after our language attribute. So it goes right here. And now what we're saying is any value that begins with fr, go ahead and select that element. So now this element should be selected as well, right? Because we're saying, hey, anything that begins with fr, select it. So let's go ahead and save this. We refresh this. Now you can see both of these are selected. So that's how that works. Now the opposite of that is we can match any value that ends with a specific value. And for that, we use the dollar sign. So let's put that in here. And let's take a look at our code here, our HTML code. And what do we want to key off? Let's key off O. So we'll say anything that ends in O, we're going to select that. And of course, there's only one language attribute that has that. So we'll put that in here. We'll put the letter O. Let's go ahead and save this. And if this works, only this one should be selected, right? Because only this element should be targeted. So let's refresh our page. And yes, it worked because we said anything that ends in O. So again, that's how that works. Now, there's also another way that we can target the value, and that is to select a value that is anywhere in the attribute value. And in that case, we use the wildcard symbol. And it goes right where the dollar sign was. Now, let's go ahead and target anything that has us in it so we'll put us and so that means that this first element should only be selected and again this wildcard allows us to select a value anywhere inside the attribute value so let's go ahead and save this we'll refresh this and of course our first paragraph is selected so that's how these attribute selectors work and again i will put all of this code and a review of these selectors in the description of this video